Hello, welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Thinas. In this program, we look at stories making headlines across the country. Now, let us start today's bulletin from Kagadi District. Fishing communities on the shores of Lake Albert have been given a one-month ultimatum to erect pit latrines for every household or face the arrest. Oscar Chanyai Vendaiga, sub county OC3 chairperson, said the most problems the fishing villages are facing are as a result of poor sanitation, and this explains why they are prone to cholera outbreaks every after two years. Peter Situma, the Kagadi District Health Inspector, say they are conducting massive sensitizations in all the 17 fishing villages so that the people can appreciate that open defecation is dangerous and costly. This was during the launch of Total Sanitation Campaign at Chitebere Landing Site. Lake, Shaw, Lake Albert Shores are prone to cholera outbreaks at least every two years and the community seemed to be used to such incidents. Now let's go to Chivale district where a police officer attached to Chivale police station is nursing injuries at Mubenda hospital after he was hit by a border border cyclist while on duty. David Otabong, the Chivale district police commander, identified the, the, the injured as a corporal of Venancio Bikaramunda. Otam Otabong say the incident occurred on a Friday while he was on duty at Busana Trading Center. Bikaramunda, who was, who was helped by a good Samaritan, was first admitted to a Mesco Health Center 4 before being referred to Mubende Hospital after his healthy condition deteriorated. Otabong said the border border cyclist whose identity has not yet been established fled on his motorcycle after the accident. He said the police in Chivale, Kakumiro and Kagadi districts had mounted a hunt for the suspect. News from Mumbarara district. The Bishop of Ankole Diocese, Sheldon Mwesigwa, has urged Christians of Nombe at Dinkonari to stop practicing witchcraft, saying witch doctors are fraudsters who are owed to swindle their money. The bishop said people who spend their resources on witchcraft only cause more problems for themselves. He urged leaders to fight witchcraft in their communities, saying they lead to vices such as domestic violence. Mwesgo encouraged believers to have faith in Christianity and use their wealth to do God's work rather than wasting it on witchcraft. Okay, so we continue looking at more stories making headlines across the country. Let us take a break and look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Our headlining story today in the paper says, I won't return to government, says Mbabas. He says his friendship with the president will remain. We have full details of this story on page four. Now, another story making headlines in the copy today. Uh, says a woman found buried in a house that is a story on page 10 and it has a really interesting twist there now let's go to another story we have fdc party in dilemma this is after the reshuffle that happened last week um district legality and then best farmer circles those are some of the headlines on the front page of today's copy of the new vision get your copy and read them in detail and now every monday we offer jobs if you're looking for a new career if you want to maybe get a job and you're tired of staying home the new vision monday copy has over 140 jobs for you so grab your copy at only 2000 shillings and you can find your dream job in here now let's continue looking at more stories inside the new vision we have ramaphosa falls in love with ankole cows and then a blend of Chichiga and vendor cultures at Mbawa's in Nisku Hinjira. This happened on Saturday and it was really colorful. So much happened there and the new vision has bought everything that you missed if you are not there in the copy. Moving on, opposition urged to unite before 2021 elections. And then Masaka, former Masaka woman MP wins council elections unopposed. Those are some of the stories you should read 
when you buy today's copy of the new vision now let's go to the pullouts that come out every monday we have the health and beauty pullout and also the infrastructure pull out let's start with the health and beauty pull out which says breastfeeding how moms with chronic diseases can cope we are celebrating the breastfeeding week which started on 1st august and it will end on wednesday the 8th of august we also have stories streaming live on the new vision tv youtube channel so just subscribe and get the stories for you uh, moving on, still in health and beauty, we have my HIV positive girlfriend is allergic to condoms. And then when can a mother be stopped from breastfeeding? The story still continue here on breastfeeding, so grab your copy. Health and Beauty has the details for you. Moving on to the infrastructure pullout. Infrastructure pullout comes out every Monday, and it says UETCL ramps on infrastructure. This is the electricity distribution uh, organization. So the story is right there on how... It is upgrading infrastructure. And then vandalism of equipment hampers growth. And New Nile Bridge, one month, um, one month uh, to its launch. Yes, the New Nile Bridge will be launched uh, after a month. So get your copy of the New Vision and see how you can uh, access that uh, bridge. Okay, let's just dash straight, straight to the sports docket. Uh, we have perfect um, and then Formula One buy four Pirelli tires and go to Abu Dhabi. Those are some of the interest, uh, interesting headlines in the sports docket. We also have Wacos cranes get it perfect. What a story to read when you buy your copy of the New Vision. Everything is right here in the sports docket and much more stories. So grab your copy at only 2,000 shillings and remember we are proudly the leading daily. I am Rathina Sajan and you're watching New Vision TV news across Uganda. Let's continue looking at more headlining stories in today's uh, bulletin. Let's go to Chivale still where Chivale grade one magistrate's court on Friday reminded three men of allegations of raping a 25 year old woman. Court presided over by Margaret Wagona had that on July 19th Tadeo Matovu 20 years, Frank Asenyange 26 years and Francis Kaitwebe 24 years or residents of Ngangi in Chibali Town Council together with others still at large gang raped a 25 year old woman in an abandoned building near Ngaji Trading Center at around 8 p.m. She was returning from Karunguza Trading Center Prosecution told call that the trio, together with other accomplices, first bought drinks for the victim before forcing her into, a ban into the abandoned building. The trio was not allowed to take any plea due to the nature of the offense, and they were remanded to Chibale prison until August 21st, when their case will come up for mention. Finally, from Arua district, following the death of three UPDF officers who were gruesomely murdered by angry mob along Uganda Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo border during a night patrol, the locals have blamed the army officers for wearing civilian dresses, which caused the suspicion among the locals, mistaking them to be armed robbers. The locals lynched the trio whose bodies were found lying on in Oloto Land Trading Center in a Pelele village in Logiro sub county near Uganda DR Congo border. The three were reportedly for night patrol duty along Uganda Congo border to monitor cases of stolen vehicles. This occurred at around 10 p.m. on Saturday, July 21st, when the officers stopped one called Ajio, a resident of Pelele village near Oturo Lang Trading Center, who was returning home on a sick motorcycle. Ajio made an alarm al attracting the locals, both from Uganda and Congo side, to descend on the UPDF officers. Speaking to the New Vision on Friday, August 3rd, in Oloto Lang Trading Center, the locals allegedly accused the gallant army officers for torturing civilians while conducting their night patrols. The locals say they have been living in fear to disclose the bad actions of the army officers who always come for night patrols.
Yeah, that's all we had for you from me, Ruth Inasaj and the New Vision TV team. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is The New Vision, and also visit our website, www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video for more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.